Accounting equation practice problem using Excel. Create accounting worksheet part number one. Get ready and some coffee because we're about to learn the accounting foundation, the accounting equation in Excel. Here we are in Excel. If you don't have access to this workbook, that's okay because we'll basically build this from a blank worksheet. But if you do have access, there are three tabs down below. Example, practice, blank, example. In essence, the answer key, the practice tab having pre-formatted cells so you can practice the practice problem with less Excel formatting. The blank tab, the one that we will be working in, as you can see, is a blank. Therefore, we'll be practicing our Excel tools as we build our practice problem in the blank tab. Let's go to the example tab to get an idea of what we will be building. We want to be doing data input, practicing our data input from the perspective of an accounting equation rather than from the perspective of debits and credits. Noting that there are pros and cons to the two different approaches, debits and credits being the optimal approach for general accounting system because it makes the data input a little bit easier. However, the downside is that you have more things that you need to know. There's another level of abstraction to get to the debits and credits. So we could start off, which is typically what accounting textbooks do with the accounting equation, or basically just really get a good idea of what's happening from an accounting equation standpoint, which basically uses a normal out.